Hey YouTube, it's that guy here. I know this doesn't look like a knife, but I just thought it was kind of cool. Now, I was at my mom and dad's helping clean up, found it. They didn't want it, or mom didn't want it, so I took it. I didn't open it up. I had seen these in the store and had always thought about buying one, but I kept looking and thinking, 26 bucks. You know, 25, 26 bucks. Gerber says that the suggested retail price is 26. I think I've seen them in some places around 20, but even still, it's going, man, I don't need a survival kit. I put my own together and carry it with me. Figured, hey, I'll take it. Well, when I got home, opened it up, check it out, found a, a few things in there. First thing, well, let's go over. The case is a, um, it's a nylon case, it's supposed to be water resistant, or waterproof. Um, this banding on here is uh, kind of reflective. This is a, they say in their advertisement that this is a waterproof zipper. On the back is a little orange tab that has air to ground signals to signal for different information to helicopters or aircraft overhead which can come in kinda handy but opened it up first thing that popped out was an SOL knife we'll come back to this puppy that didn't come in this my dad evidently added it to it We'll look at that in a moment. Now, inside here, just so you can see, is another pouch. Now, if you're carrying this in your pocket and you get caught in the rain, you got this pouch. It's going to protect it a little bit. It's also in a waterproof envelope, and as long as the envelope isn't damaged, if you fell into a creek or a river, the pond, the ocean, whatever, your stuff's going to stay dry. And you can take this out and put it into an, a pocket, and then you have this to store some other items that you might find along the way that you carry in another pocket. It's kind of like a Ziploc bag here. Pop it open. get your stuff out and it's resealable now it says it has an eight piece kit I kind of counted it. it was a little bit more than eight pieces let's go back to the container here when it's everything's in this bag this is 4.5 inches by 5 inches and the whole kit if you don't add anything else weighs in at 4.2 ounces let's go ahead and pull everything out and we'll go over it real quick this is the bear grills survival kit I'm not uh, I like to watch this TV show but that was about it so you have this as another container if you want to take all this stuff out and put it in a pocket which is kind of handy you got your cordage it's probably about 15 20 foot of nylon cord then you have some uh, it's heavier it's kind of real light string you could use this fishing line again probably about 20 foot or so and kind of reminds me of dental floss but it's a little bit stronger and it's kind of braided when you look real close at it so so you got cordage there then you have a whistle again in its own little bag and you could use a piece of cordage put on there put on the the whistle and uh put it around your neck so you don't lose it have another little bag in here 
This thing just loves all these little bags, I tell you. And this is not a this is a sealed bag, but it's not resealable. Go ahead and open that up. You have another piece of cordage, a ferrocerium rod, and a striker for it that can also be used as a bottle opener, little mini pry bar, kind of handy. Got some brass wire, and they say for uh, the brass wire is for uh, making snares and whatnot. Does not look like it's that much brass wire, but a little bit's better than nothing. Got a package, again in a plastic bag, that's uh, not resealable. It's got the striker separate from the matches, um, lifeboat matches. And then a cotton ball that they call fire tinder. If you take this and put some Vaseline on it or something, it'll work a whole lot better, but they can't put that in there and make it flammable. Then you have a survival guide. I've uh, seen these before. They're not too bad. It uh, has your basic survival information in it. Just something to remind you on how to do things. You should already know how to do it. Unfortunately, a lot of people are buying these and think, oh, I can survive forever out in the woods with this little package, and you're not. It's just something to get you through a 24-hour period, 72-hour period, not much more. And it comes with a little Gerber knife. This is the paraframe. Um, and let's uh, see how long the sucker is. Open, it comes in just over five inches. The blade is two and a quarter inches. It's uh, partially serrated. I have another one of these that I like carrying, but it's a plain edge. I would probably swap that out for this. This kit doesn't come with anything to sharpen it, so you're hoping you're not going to have to use this a whole lot. It's a liner lock, or frame lock, I should say. It has a pocket clip. They're a handy little knife, but then again, a survival knife is the knife you have on you at the time you need it. So, like I said, I never, well, I always thought when I looked at it, yeah, it's a little bit expensive. It's probably got some cheesy stuff in it that I can get all that stuff for less money. I think it's cool. Well, the, the cordage is okay. The matches are okay. This is a good basic kit to build everything around or to be an emergency backup to your main kit. This is something you can have in your pocket, you know, jacket pocket, whatever as a backup that if you lost your other stuff and this is in your pocket you've got the basics you can make a fire you got a knife you got some cordage to help make a shelter you got two ways of starting fire you got signaling so just adding a few extra things here uh, some fish hooks with this type of line it would be nice to have a couple of fish hooks some better tinder fire starter would be better than this cotton ball but this is a good basic part on a survival kit now my dad who evidently bought this decided he needed another knife and he probably saw this SOS or SOL which is survive outdoor longer it has a flashlight it's not real bright it's only about uh, 10 lumen but one of the cool things is it's not a momentary light you push the button the light stays on push it goes out you can also use it to signal be kind of hard to signal with but it's got a whistle at the end there pocket clip 
and then a small blade and again uh, let's see that's about uh, one and a quarter inch blade there uh, it's about three quarters of an inch wide so handy little blade to cut cordage it's fairly sharp uh, liner lock you can open it with one hand fairly easy got a little bit of jimping on the back uh, let's see how long is this handle on here handles about three and a half inches long and then it's about a half inch wide give you something to purchase you can do some light cutting um, food prep or whatever again hey with this you've got a light source for at night granted 10 lumens is not a lot but if you have no light at all that's plenty bright for you to do anything so this is your basic Bear Grylls kit they have another one that's a little bit more expansive it's got a few extra things in it this one my dad added a light you know a little an extra knife and a flashlight and whistle to it I got it for free I like it <laughs> handy little thing Hope you enjoyed this little review. Have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And remember, always be prepared.